Grace Jonathan was pregnant when she found out she was HIV positive last year. The news made her feel suicidal. Her anguish deepened when her fiancé abandoned her. He had received a negative test result. Her father became her only support. When I told my father, he said I should leave everything to God. And he encouraged me to take my drugs without stopping because they are very important. He said I can only have problems if I stop taking the drugs. If I follow the rules, I know that I will be fine. That is why I'm taking the drugs. She followed her father's advice. Now, a year later, she has an eight-month-old son who is free of the virus. Mother-to-child transmission can happen during pregnancy, delivery, or while breastfeeding. That's why every month, Jonathan visits a local clinic for routine checks and to collect new drug supplies for herself and her son. I am giving him the drugs to protect him because I'm still breastfeeding him. I don't want him to have any problems. I need to protect his health. But not every child is as fortunate. In Nigeria, pediatric HIV infections are increasing. Official data shows more than 22,000 mother-to-child transmissions are reported annually. Nguavese Tobunde is country manager for the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. She said 77% of child cases are caused by women not receiving antiretroviral drug therapy during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So we have a lot of gaps when you look at the area of children, when you look at the area of adolescents, we have a lot of gaps. We are not finding them to place on treatment and those who are on treatment, there are a lot of issues around the drug regimen. With foreign funding and a strain due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Nigeria launched a $149 million fund earlier this year to help fight HIV AIDS. It is especially targeting the prevention of mother-to-child transmissions.